Come on! You said you were gonna ride with me, and you did it! I am Mark! You have to make this free throw. Free you didn't even yet. know free throws existed until I okay. told you that 10 minutes ago. There's nothing better than betting with your friends. Jenny Chesney? I know, I know. Dave, oh, we're, we're live? live? Let's roll. All right, let's do it. Welcome in. Yeah, we're live from uh, Barstool Bar Scottsdale, Final Four. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, who's saying that? Who's doing the Roll Tide Someone's Roll? Doing roll Tide Roll. Rico? We got a couple of Tide fans. Before we get into the men's. I, I, I'm curious, everybody, you guys all watch Iowa last night, their yes. game? Yes. Everyone's still yeah. talking about uh, that call at the end of the game, which I don't get what people are talking about. I, I'm a big Caitlin Clark guy, obviously, but that call seemed like the most obvious moving pick, like you have to call it. I don't know why people are crying. Um, Titus, you're a basketball guy. Rico, you're a ref guy. What do yep. you guys think of that call? Uh, I don't think you have to call it, but uh, I don't think it was that egregious. I, the, the original replay looked... Very bad. Because like didn't it was, show it looked, the legs. Yeah, you didn't show the legs. But yeah. then the slow mo that I think you tweeted out. Yeah. When yeah. you see that angle, she yeah, threw it's her not shoulder a shoulder yeah, or elbow. Big, yeah, elbow still yeah I think it was one of those situations where it was the right call, but I wish it had, hadn't happened. Right. You it's know? the same. I said, I said it's like the Super Bowl with the Eagles. Yeah. Like they had to call that. I wish the game didn't end or, that yeah. way. Yeah. Or, but that's how they had to call it. Or I used the, the what is it, Kadarius Tony when he was like yeah. three yards offside. It's like, yeah. well, it's a terrible thing, but he's so far offside. That was a brutal moving pick. And then all the all the uh, UConn fans, and by the way, this is tough because I'm on UConn, but they're putting these side-by-sides of other plays, and they're not even remotely close. The, the biggest no. winner out of all of that, though, is, is Paige Beckers because no one's talking about the three, the wide-open wide three open. that she completely nobody's, bricked. Nobody's talking about Kaylin Clark missing a free throw and if you kind of well, that was rebound. smart they basketball the, they have the yeah. ball yep. to maybe win yeah not yeah end. not being able to get a rebound Just rebound the free throw yeah and you're, you're back in business yeah, yeah. That was a smart play too by her when she threw the ball off her you yeah, save the cover the throw it off yeah, her back save the cover. i did not i did not appreciate that in the moment but i do appreciate it as a smart basketball yeah. bosco you're the ref guy i thought it was easy elbow ex- she was never set and the elbow was extended i thought it was a uh, moving screen easy yeah, so I, it, it made it worse because, like, Scott Van Pelt, I was watching right after the game. He, he had that the, – the analyst on. They're like, that call sucked. Everyone, LeBron, that call sucked. It's, like, it's just I, a disappointment that you don't get to see a last shot. Yeah, but – That's really all it is. That play, I think what would have happened, actually, is I think Paige would have passed it back to her. She didn't even yeah. get – that's the craziest part is it was a moving screen, and she didn't even, like, get Paige – Becker's open. It didn't even work. They fought through yeah. it. it, it yeah. The ball would have gone back to her. Yeah. And she had hit like 10 straight of those jumpers for a wide open. But that was an obvious call. So anybody who's bitching about that has to shut up. I think Jeff D. Lowe, you were an early pitcher of that, right? <laughs> yeah. All you UConn yep. guys. Yep. Now what do you – and just yell it. Well, it's – it also goes to a different level because it's Iowa and Caitlin Clark is the star. And so everyone could be like, well, they want her in the finals. That's, that's really where it like yeah. hits like – Nuclear level, you know what I mean? Yeah, w- which is like stupid also because it's, it was a fair call. Clark just didn't play that well, and UConn couldn't capitalize. Yeah, true. They should have shown the, the wider angle on the replay though, because yeah, they, they were showing what the they top. showed. I was like, that's that doesn't look like a foul at all there. But when you see the full picture, it's like obviously that was the right call. Yeah, Threw and the refs under the bus. They were kind of making it seem like it was maybe um, Gabby. What's her last name? Gabby Marshall. Gabby Douglas. Marshall. Yeah. Maybe like she sold it, but then you see the other angle and like she didn't sell it at all. She got clocked. You know what I didn't like though was the ref. The ref put a little stank on that call too. He did like one of these. Wait, how? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, put, he, he, he put it like he wanted to call. It was. He, he was like, I just won that game. It was yeah. also funny because they did the uh, the simulcast and it was just three UConn women. And they, <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> they were, it was like Diana Taurasi, Brianna Stewart. I can't remember who the third was. They were just like. No shit you guys don't like to call. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> kind of like that. Yeah. yeah, and then they keep asking, like, who would you take, Caitlin Clark or Paige or this, who's great? And everyone's against Caitlin. No one wants to give Caitlin Clark her flowers, it seems like, because er- on a professional level, because everyone loves her so much. So it's like everyone, 
I mean, Gino Ariema was doing it nonstop while Paige Becker's at the best, best, best. It's like Caitlin Clark's and, the best. And Paige Becker's missed that three. Like, that was the game right there. If she hits that wide open three, they win the game. That was an air ball, right? She hit, like, the side of the back. I thought she hit the, the front brick, of the rim. Big yeah. time brick. No, I, it didn't hit the rim, right? I thought it hit the front. I thought I thought it hit, like, basically the corner of the front of the I rim. I thought it hit the corner of the backboard. I didn't think it was bad. It was bad. She was wide open. Wide open. Wide open. So, anyways, women's, and I guess we'll continue along the women's before we go to the men. Do you think Iowa has a shot for I South do. Carolina? I do, because the refs obviously have it out yeah. for anyone who plays Iowa. And I thought, I thought Caitlin Clark wasn't very good last night for the most, most of the game. She didn't have her A game. I think she's going to bounce back. I think Gino put a good defense on her. And they beat them last year. I know yeah. they're better this year. They're undefeated, but they beat them last year. Well, they were in undefeated the last four. year, weren't yeah. they? Uh, yeah, they've only lost once I in two so. years. Yeah, yeah. They've had something crazy. They lost. What did what, you see? They the brought no was? starters back from last year. South Carolina. That's crazy. A brand new starting five. Yeah. Cardoza, their big. Their she's big a monster. From, uh, she's like seven Brazil. feet tall. She's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and and I was weak on the glass. That's yeah. what worries me. Yeah. But Team, teams in the storm have given South Carolina runs. Though who was at Stanford? Yeah, Indiana almost Indiana beat them. was Indiana down right. two with like fifty them. seconds left. NC State was down one at the half before they got smoked in the third quarter. Well, that yeah, well that wasn't that was really close. close. They yeah, lost by they twenty. Lost by hundred. So you, you can't. They played a good half. So, so, but so, Indiana was down two with it, fifty it, seconds it, left. They gave them a run. Illinois gave UConn a good game. No, they didn't. They got well, what's the well, difference? Well, no, it was a six-point game at half. You're they had so a good dumb. half. Dumb. They didn't give them a good game. They gave them a good half. So that's, that's what you what should have said. All I said was State. half. I said they were, they were down But we were talking half. about the, people giving South Carolina scared. There was NC they State. They scared them for a half. They well, literally so, killed so them. So did Illinois. Half. Right. All right, Dave and Busters, by the way. Last year, there were 35 personal you, fouls in championship games. So this year, we're going F-O-W-L for foul. F O U L. With every foul, we're enjoying a chicken wing from Dave and Buster's, and with all you can eat chicken wings and ten dollar power cards starting at twenty two ninety nine every Monday and Thursday for the duration of the tournament. You can get a foul for foul two, so that's Monday night. For terms and conditions, apply. And don't forget, throughout the tournament, we're washing away your sorrows with two dollar beers, five dollar shots. Uh, participation may vary Monday and Thursday throughout the tournament. Dave and Buster's is celebrating with all you can eat wings. And a ten dollar power card starting at twenty two ninety nine. Terms and conditions apply. So go on Monday night for the championship game. Uh, there's also penalty debate live show Monday. Oh, Phoenix. nice ski ball machine and giving away uh, D, uh, uh, Dave and Ball uh, Buster jerseys somewhere here. So go check it out over there uh, for everyone who came out. What Dave time's penalty debate at Dave and Buster's? One o'clock this time, four o'clock uh, Eastern. So if you want to go give Rico the business, yes. go to Dave and Buster's. Check it and out. Which Dave and Buster's? What is Phoenix. that noise? Oh, it would be funny if Dave, if it's Rico, it's a tightest shuffle. <laughs> over here. Dave, if if Rico started like, who's that streamer Kai Sinet who started the like riot in New York? We need that for Rico at Dave and Buster's. Just a bunch of people showing up, like Mr. Beast. Yeah, yeah. Get, get, so people can show up live and, and yell at you live. Yeah, I'm gonna try and set the, set the Papa Shot record so you can be debating me while we're doing that. Oh, I'll beat you on that. Okay. What's the record? I said it when I filmed the video the other day. All right, I'll beat I mean, you on that. All right. No, well, the game probably resets every day. Then if you just didn't walk, it was like the puppet shot record at Dave. Yeah, they definitely not reset all it every time, day. but it was one whatever it was, and I said it. So, okay. Well, would you shoot? One eighty-six or something like that. Oh, I beat that. All right. All right, getting into the final four, which everyone's here for the men's final four. Uh, I don't know how to read this because I, uh, me personally, I have that bet. Dan, you have a bet. I get the six hundred grand to win to clear. 2.1 million. My biggest win I'd ever have by a mile. It would be, be more than well. double. Um, bet him before the tournament. So I'm heavily invested in UConn. But other than that, I got to this, this. I mean, I can't remember last time a, a Final Four had two favorites like this. Yeah. Like almost double digits. It's the on most, day I one. think, ever uh, combined 20 points favorite. I think mm. that's the most ever in a Final Four. So, I mean, I. Part of me is worried that it's too easy for UConn. I know, Dan, you're super confident in it right now. I am because this guy, he's Nate Oates' assistant, and I asked him what the plan was, and he just said, got to play defense. They got no plan. <laughs> it, the, early in the week, he was saying we, they can't keep up with our pace. I told him, I explained to him that if they want to go pace, UConn will kill them because UConn's so efficient. You give them more possessions, they'll kill them. So what's the plan? I think people are saying You were sitting on Nate Oates' lap yesterday. Yeah, I saw that picture with you and Nate. Did he recognize you? Yeah, he recognized me. Did he right away? Yes. Yeah, he probably said to security, he's like, my stalker's <laughs> here. <laughs> Make sure you're on alert. Rico, what happened on that boat for you to fall in love with Nate? It's just talking ball. 
Marty and Jake were on that boat as well. I know, but, but what happened on that boat? Did he baptize you? No. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Fosco, give us the uh, give us the stats. Yeah, give you're us the stats. You're trying to sell me on. Also, I'm slightly less than Dave does on UConn Future as well. He said he got some Bama stats. Oh, you have UConn yes, Future. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's your number? Few less zeros. What's your number? I think twelve to one. No. No, no. I got. I took it like Monday after. So oh, like, okay. like four to one. Three, yeah, yeah. Like something like that. Three and a half to one. Four to one. Yeah. So UConn is 212th on defense against catch and shoot threes. Okay. They're 184th against the mid range, and they're 100 and. Uh, 64th off pick and roll ball screens. Well, you guys don't shoot mid range. We can if we want to, but the pick and the. What uh, do you mean you can if you want to? Never done it though. You just choose not to. No, it's an inefficient shot. We want rim touches and threes, so but all catch and shoot so threes, stat, catch, catch and shoot threes, and pick and roll screens is where we can kill them. They're they're very susceptible to be to taken on that. You look at the numbers. So catch and shoot threes, pick and roll threes. That's what we're gonna get. Outside of your you, of the shtick, which you're doing, and it is a shtick kind of like oh I. What chance do you think they have? I think they have a real good chance. They're playing loose. He's They're, everyone a cigar. says everyone says we can't play against big guys. Played real well against Calcrenner. Played real well against Edie. C- Calcrenner's not clinging. Beat Baycott. You lost. Wait, but you lost both those games. Played real well. Four to six <laughs> point games, and the game is eleven points. We were right there to the last okay, possession. You lost both the whole those world games, thinks though. UConn is running that, away with this. But make sure you say that those, part that you lost. We did those lose games. those. I said we played right there. We lost them, but those games were in Christmas. We're a much different team. Playing better defense, we can handle big guys. So they what, think Clingers is, is going to eat us alive. They're they're catching. Three. I don't think Catch you're going to. I don't think UConn's going to run away with it. Neither do I. UConn's 28th in the country against three point percentage defense. Specific situations. Catch that's where it is. Yeah. Catch and shoot. Go a little in the weeds. But I I don't think they're going to run away with it just because of the size of my bet. That's the only thing. Yeah. Like I think if I was looking at this unbiased, I'd be like, oh, UConn's going to kill them. I'm not, but I can't even. I'm not letting myself get ahead of the fact of. Winning this bet. Yeah, the only thing that's making me nervous is we're back here, and this is where my eagles like because this is a another bet of a lifetime where I got fourteen well, to one. You told me to do it too. No, you said do it. I said, but do I don't. It. I it, it was right after they lost to Kansas. I, I don't. Weirdly, if I did that, I don't think I'd have a chance to win as much as because I wouldn't. Yeah, have right. You wouldn't have. Done, and I wouldn't have put that much on it. I maybe put a hundred on it at that. Not yeah. even. It was so far in advance. Yeah. So. If it wins, maybe this is better, but I don't know. Titus, what do you think? you think they have a shot? I have no idea. Well, I'm, I, I should excuse myself probably. She, Titus is <laughs> taking eight shits today. He's got I'm a weight hang <laughs> He's yeah, too much sick wings. He just had too many wings last night. He looks terrible. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> do you have to yeah. go shit right now? Yeah, I have to shit very badly. That's all I'm thinking about. So like, go, shit. go shit. All right. See you guys. Have a good show. <laughs> you might be a vegan now. This might be Mark's last stand with me. Oh, man. We had a bunch of wings last he night. He looked like really he's good. seen a ghost when he showed up. How late did you guys go out till? Uh, I went home, I think, like 11.30. No, that's not that late. Midnight? Not that late. No, I, oh. I wanted to get some sleep last night. Had a good time. A lot of Alabama fans out last night. I'm trying. Of- I haven't seen much of I, I can't get a read on who's traveled the best here. And I because guess they always divide a- the stadium into four corners. I saw there was a lot of tickets for sale in the Alabama section. Really? Yes. A N- lot. NC State, I feel like, would be a pretty big travel and school. This isn't the best place for the Final Four because you can't, like, when we're in Indianapolis or San Antonio, New Orleans, you see the fans everywhere. It's so sp- spread out. Uh, Dave, I found it. I took. I texted you Wednesday, December six. I took UConn fourteen to one last night. They're really good again. You said I may jump on that. Like I said, if they win it, I don't care because I think this would have been the better way to do it. If they lose it, I lost a lot more because I would have never put that side of the yeah, bet true. on at 14-1. to 1. I think Alabama can definitely beat them if they play their perfect game. If they play an A game, they can win. If they play like a B game, it's, it's not going to I be agree. Close. But I, by A I game, agree. you mean just rain threes. Yeah, yeah, I they do rain think threes. Obviously. Just make like but they're capable. 30 threes. They're capable of raining threes. Of course. Yeah. They are, they are. Yeah. No, if they, if they hit 30 threes... UConn will lose. That's a fact. Yeah. 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 Like, that's just a fact. I do think the lowest we can go is like an A minus. I agree with that. We have to play an A minus, A plus. And 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 what is UConn can play a B plus? Yeah, I. I, oh. I, I think a B-plus beats you. Yeah, yeah. no matter what. I agree. Yes. I think UConn, no, but no, B-plus versus A-plus, UConn wins. Yeah, right. You, you need UConn playing a B-minus, C-plus. Okay. I, I, honestly. Yeah. You need them also to keep shooting. B-plus will be right there, though. That's the one crazy part about UConn in this run. They have not shot yeah. the three. Well. Oh, they've no, shot they have horribly. Not. They've won by a bit. Yeah, they have not. They have not. What about the other game? Purdue, I, NC State. I, I love Purdue. I got a problem with how this game's being covered when they, everyone keeps talking about Edie versus Sorry, DJ Burns. 
they're not going to play against each other. No. no. At all. Like, they're, it's just not going to be the match. I mean, Burns can't guard. He's going to get in foul trouble so fast right. that he had to guard him. Right. And Edie, you can't get Edie in foul no, trouble either. No, for sure. So it's going to be DR on, on, on Edie, and then it's going to be Gillis or the other guy on, on Burns. You see the clip of Edie going to the, like, the dorm room? Yeah. That was... All the well, girls I, gasping. I would ga- <laughs> you don't even have to know who he is and you gasp. Yeah. You're like, who is that giant it's walking up, it's up in his head just to get in the normal <laughs> yeah, door? It's crazy. <laughs> Thinking of, about him in, like, a college setting. Going into a he twin just bed. He, you see him everywhere. Yeah, he's a monster. He's like Giant Gonzalez. Remember that guy from wrestling? When yes. he came, yeah. I was like, that's Edie. He's just so fucking huge. You see, he said he had to stop trick-or-treating when he was, like, nine because he was too big. <laughs> they were looking at him. He said he, said he was, like... 6'10 in like 8th grade or something crazy. Yeah. What's crazy is he, he's done a million different sports. They had him in hockey. He was on skates. Yeah, no, and he had the, the baseball video, he's yeah. on 74. It's so crazy. on skates, he's got to be like 7'10". Yeah. It's nuts. I, I do think that NC State, like, some, they have they have been underdog, what, nine straight games? So, like, yeah. why not? I, I don't yeah. know. They just, every single game, it's crazy. Yeah, I feel like the momentum... For underdogs, a lot of times, the only one I can think that's an exception is Butler ends between the Sweet 16 and the Final Four. Yeah. You're shaking your head, yes. That's bad for you. We're not a, like, we're a top 16 seed in terms of this, this tournament. We were ranked most of the year. I wouldn't call us a, like, Cinderella like, like yeah. NC State. Yeah, not NC, NC State. State is a Cinderella. Yeah, no, that's we're fair. not a Cinderella. We yeah. came into the season pre-ranked. Well, what, it doesn't matter what you do preseason. What did you talk to Nate Oates about yesterday? Just how, you know. Getting the team pumped, proud of you, excited, great atmosphere. It's quick. That was it. He's got we have business to take how care many, of. Yeah. How many? How, how long were you? Did you get FaceTime? Four or five minutes. Oh. Yeah. Look how long you. did it take to for him to recognize you? Two seconds. The clip of him grabbing the thing is he's, it's got the government name on the ID. Oh. So he was like, oh. Oh, he, I didn't see that clip. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, so he was trying to learn your name. He was just yeah. He was trying to learn my name. Exactly. You're also making a lot of calls yesterday. You were on the phone a lot. Yeah, yeah and doing blow. Yes. <laughs> the um to the phone calls, not the. Do you want to do you want to talk about the fact that the pump party had uh, a cash bar? Yeah, that's uh, crazy. There's a lot of people. I they mean, sell tickets. They sell sponsorships, and it's a cash bar. I don't think they sell tickets. Oh no, I think they sell tickets. No, I don't to the think pump. they. Pretty sure it's invite. You have to be given the ticket. That's oh. the exclusivity of it. Well, it wasn't that exclusive because they handed me a ticket the second I walked in. Yeah, but you're you. You're like, look at the crowd. Like, you're you. They're going to hand you a ticket to a party. Oh, maybe. And you were, you you had Danny Sprinkle up against the pool. (laughs) That's what I heard. Yeah, I know. Your your wash, your your big wing dinner. It sounded like a a couple of. I just got some intel. A couple of rumors. I mean, Rico was telling me that he was going to meet with Sprinkle and help him put his staff together. Oh, really? So he's making calls. He's definitely got an opening, yeah. But who's going to – you have a friend that could fill that opening? Uh, yeah, but nah, we'll see. What's that guy from Louisville that you really like? <laughs> You're an asshole. What? Would you, would you what recommend What happened him? to him? Nothing. Louisville was – last year, this time, you were like, Louisville's coming. Louisville's coming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Turns out win, Kenny Payne win didn't, didn't, didn't work ACC out. Did they win an ACC game? Didn't work out. Did they win uh, an ACC I think game? They, I don't think they did. Yeah, no, I, don't I don't think, think so. They did. did you see that video that uh, Tate made at the Iowa game with the little girl? Yes. And it yeah. was basically like she peeled her shirt off. She went from Iowa to UConn. If UConn won, that's you. Yeah. Like, yeah. you are going to try to root for UConn for on, sure. On not. Monday. Yeah, you will. Not. We'll I'll, see. Well, th- but at that point, though, don't you want – if No, if, I, no if, I don't want your stink no, you're on, not, on, you're, on If you UConn wins, earlier, though. You if, have stink. You're a stink guy. I mean, I don't if want UConn honest. wins, don't you want me then rooting no. for your bet Monday night? No. Right, fine. No. Let's, so let's talk the about the, the disastrous scenario that could happen tonight, right? Alabama wins. Rico sit next to you guys. Yeah, Dave He's already said he, might, he might be fired. I already said that anything is on the t- – I can't control what happens when I have – a three million dollar swing on the line if he's being a because here and, and people are like how can you tell somebody how to root? He's not Jeff D. Lowe who went to UConn. He's not an Alabama Jeff went to fan UConn? or a fan. <laughs> Jeff went to UConn. <laughs> no, but you're you, you've been a fan for why do you like UConn? From Connecticut. Okay. Sorry, that that's fair. You don't like uh, you you're not an Alabama fan. No, if they no. if he took the so job somewhere else. So that's the thing. Else. It's like yeah. he, he doesn't really care about but Alabama. Right. He if, cares about NATO. If it's roll tight Willie sitting next to me, root your fucking ass off. I'm not going to say anything. If it's Ev rooting for the Giants in the Super Bowl, I'm not going to say anything. If it's you were rooting for the Capitals and the uh, the Commanders, I'm not going to say anything. If it's him for the Cubs, he doesn't care. So you have a fraud 
sitting next to you. You're a fraud. Okay. And I have three million. You're just rooting to be a fraud. So yeah, I could get very mad. <laughs> it's, got the, it's got the possibility of a big time. Seems like yeah. It seems like we're gonna it, sit. It, we're gonna sit next to each other. Seems he, like he there's a possibility the, of getting he mad. He says all their first names. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you haven't does been. The, you this haven't guy, seen this guy was the biggest Duke fan we had when yeah. we came. In. Every you don't root for teams. Kansas you have, State. He has no fandom. Yep. Yeah, because if, if Mets, Purdue wins, never, never wave it on the if Mets. Purdue wins never the first game, the you're going to be like Matt Painter and Zach to your friends. You're Correct. Root for Purdue. <laughs> no. And you, he, you roots, he, he roots so hard, it's just a total fraudulent act. Yeah. You're sitting next to a clown. Well, he, I think ultimately Rico is is rooting for Rico. A hundred percent. Yes. No. Yeah. Like, that's exactly what the it is. The teams that win, if if Nate Oates wins, then Rico's like, yes, I was right. I'm, I'm friends. I was with right. Yeah. 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 But, but it's not even right, right because you you pick so many people. Right. But he's won one. He's won one. That's that's fair. Rico has. And been I have not wavered from that take uh, for the last uh, three uh, years. They're absolutely at one point. Muscleman was one. Muscleman no was chance. Muscleman was high for a while. We Jared did that Grosso. Same Grosso. Yeah. Is that Grosso's where you learned? Is that where you learned yeah. the straw thing? <laughs> <what> you did. <laughs> uh, no, we went on that same trip with Muscleman, and Dan was like, "You got to pick a line in the sand," and I picked. I picked oats. Yeah. I did make him pick a line because I was just like, "You can't do this. You can't root for two SEC schools this much." Well, he, yeah. And now he's got, and now, yeah, I mean, Muscle, I said you're dead Muscle's to Muscle's out in the pack. And you're dead, Hurley's dead to you. Like, right. you're dead to Hurley. I will make sure of that. I mean, yeah, it's been four I days of me rooting against Hurley, so yeah. Yeah, no, and I will tell, well, next time I, I talk to Coach, I'm going to be like, listen, Rico is not. Which, in your world, just summed it up. It's like, yep, I've been rooting against him for four days. So that <laughs> that is the equivalent of, like, ten years in yeah. most people's lives. Yeah. I don't know how you can, can't. How you can like sports and not have favorite teams? It's I do have bananas. favorite teams. No, you. Who's Ooh. your favorite college? Living. What? Your favorite college team? It, right it now, it's Alabama. <laughs> <Alabama's too. laughs> right, right, right. He was gung ho Duke when right. he came into this company, right. and now they're just gone. I mean, I don't. It's a. That's why it could be a problem tonight because I don't respect your Alabama fandom at all, and I know you're a fraud and a clown. What, what, okay. Do Alabama fan? Where's uh, Travi? Do you do you like? Yeah, Travis. You know that he's like a mercenary. Them. Like he he doesn't care about you guys. Come up here, real they quick. Like I want to talk. Yeah. They, By the way, they, Draft they, Kings, the visibility Rico. This brings. college basketball tournament has been one of the one for the books with big plays, even bigger winners. The tourney might be near in the finish line, but there's still time to get your bets in. I've teamed up with DraftKings Sportsbook right now. All new customers who bet just five dollars will instantly receive 150 in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings app now and sign up using code Stool Madness. The crown is yours. Stool Madness on the DraftKings Sportsbook. So, Travis for the boys went to Alabama. He's a diehard Alabama fan. It's a you great guys, shirt. when you guys you. see him doing the fucking the 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 elephant and everything, are you like? We take all the support. Okay. We'll any support. That's crazy. It's Half a family. To. Is there a part of you that's worried that I'm, I'm Alabama's boogeyman? Yeah, that's what I was saying the last time we were in this scenario. Semifinals. <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah. Michigan. Back to back. So. Yeah, yeah, I, the only difference, I was going to say it because I don't win the bet if, if UConn wins, but you guys could play a major factor in me making millions. Yeah. Michigan and now this. Yeah. Semifinals both times. <sighs> crazy. Now, Do you think oh, it's weird, though, his Nate Oates' obsession? No, he's a great coach. Okay. So let me ask you this. Coach. For Alabama, and you always have these conversations, SEC, yep. SEC football, would you trade, like, two regular season, like, beating Georgia? Would you trade beating Georgia for this? Yeah. yeah. In football? For, an, for, an, for a national championship in basketball, yes. So what about just for a Final Four win? So we're not guaranteeing Monday night. Would but you we trade? will guarantee you beat Georgia. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we'll, we'll guarantee. Okay, Georgia so in the take, regular season? Take, yeah, like, yeah, if Georgia, are we talking so regular the playoff season? or SEC No, regular season. regular season. Regular season. Yeah, we would, yeah fine with losing. Would yeah. you trade tonight? Them? That's crazy. Wait, tonight or to Georgia? No, with Georgia. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about SEC championship? Yeah. It's we, a national championship in basketball. But it's not. It's the Final Four right now. Yeah. It's also Oh, wait. You're in. saying you want, you'd you rather win and lose to Georgia. I thought you said you want the Georgia no, win. No, I, I was like, I want the national championship okay, for Bama basketball. But I can guarantee you right now a Final Four win tonight, no guarantee for Monday, guarantee SEC take, championship I'd, in football. I'd still take it. You yeah. would? Okay. Yes. yes. How many? How many? We've won like. How, we oh, that's the next that's question. True, that's that's true. the next <laughs> question. How many national titles in football? Would you trade for this? 
Meaning like if, if, if we'll do a one for one deal. One swap. for one. One for one swap. So you really want basketball that yes. much? Yeah, I mean, because it's the first. It's the first building. It's like yeah. the, I mean, we went to the Elite Eight in 04. It was like we weren't supposed to be there. And lost, but like this is the first time ever in the Final Four. I mean, I would claim it as we everything school would basketball you, and football. Would yes. you trade a Final Four appearance for a five star quarterback recruit? <laughs> No. Just an appearance. No. What are your no. thoughts? Do you think you have a chance today? Yeah, I mean, we're going up against, I think they're the, the best ba college basketball team ever. Well, that's, that's crazy. crazy. That, that's no, crazy. No, no, wow. no, 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 that Florida, the Florida, Florida that team. Okay, but here's the, here's the argument. Team, here's the argument against though. Five pros. Here's the argument against. Uh, so maybe this isn't the best team, but if UConn wins the national title on Monday night, I think Dan Hurley, what he's done in two years, is more impressive than any two years anywhere else because they completely changed the roster. They lost seventy five percent of their score. Yeah. Fine. Well, that's a different question. Yeah. But it would be the most impressive that, that, two year run in college basketball that Florida history. Florida. Well, no. I I would think that. Honestly, because every Florida, other Florida because, won back to back, but they all came back. Well, if that's fine. That that you're saying coaching job. Yeah, I'm saying but it's that, the most impressive. Like to be able to turn a roster over and do. Yeah, it, you're saying coaching. Almost more dominant. You're, you're saying coaching, but that Florida team kills this. I UConn mean, you could team. also say well, but if you I combine these two UConn teams, then then like if everyone stayed and then you and that's Donovan Klingon doesn't doesn't. I also don't think that Cam Florida Spencer team. Kill, I don't know if they kill UConn. What are you talking about? You think they kill UConn? Yes. I don't know. Yes. I don't know. No, Noah. Uh, Al Horford, uh, Corey, they, Corey, Corey Brewer. Brewer. Yeah, they were fucking. No, they were awesome. Unbelievable. <laughs> this UConn team's pretty good too. I wish we had a guy who played against. They, them. Aren't they saying this is the worst draft in the history? <laughs> like the, he's in the shitter. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, Titus played against. He, that's that was the oh, championship. championship they lost. Yeah. Was no, against that, that team. That, that team was. Loaded. So maybe it's the best coaching job. I mean, that, I would. Yeah, I would definitely fine. say that because, like, even the UCL, UCLA teams that, like, all those Bill Wall from getting yeah, one more Bill guy Wall on that Florida team too. I want to look that team up. Uh, was, was, Brewer, Mo, was Mo Spates on that team? No. They Brewer, had four. Yeah, they had a fourth guy. Was it Parsons? Who? Was it Mo Spates? No. Mo Spates was? It was? I think, I think he might have came off the bench. I do like getting ahead of the conversation, though, because this is the best college basketball team ever. It's always good to have that talk. Oh, Humphrey. Jeff, you listen to Humphrey the Shooter? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he was on there. That team, that team was, was unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. But I hope, so, I mean, I hope Alabama gets killed. It's almost, again, I keep saying it. I've been gambling for so long. Like, I had to earn when we beat you guys in the semifinals. Like, I thought that bet was dead. The, the way UConn steamrolls people, I, it can't the be one, this easy. The it one thing is be. Alabama has not been healthy all season. We're finally playing a true full strength from the, since the first game of the season. What is that one guy... Well, Pringle's Reitzel. not hundred percent. Reitzel's playing. The Pringle's, Pringle's not hundred. Pringle's banged up, but he's playing. Okay, but he's not hundred percent, and he's important, very important. He's at yeah. Say. But Reitzel's back. Like we're not missing a guy completely for the first time in a while. Yeah, I just I I, I keep going back to this game. I just don't know. I, again, it's it's really is Bama going to hit thirty three? Sure. If they hit thirty threes, then tip tip your cat because that's that will be one of the most impressive shooting yep. performances of all time. Did Other Alabama that, travel? Do you guys have a lot of fans here? I see. I flew out of Newark, so I don't know what from Birmingham or if they flew out. So. I saw a lot last night. Okay, you did. Yeah. I, night. I feel Small like NC State size. would have the most, but maybe not. Yeah, because uh, the only it's, reason I think that is basketball country. And they haven't been since 1983. And Purdue obviously is very like my. I mean, it was coming from Chicago, but my whole flight was Purdue. Who they go, haven't been to who, 1980. I'm always confused. Who goes to Purdue? Nerds. Neil Armstrong. It's like 75% dudes. That's true. That's a fact. Is it you one know, of? It, yeah, it, yeah. It's got to be one of the worst schools to go to, right? As yes. Like, uh, yeah. Party. Yeah. Just yeah. yeah. As a human. Yeah. It's all dudes. And what's the percentage? How many dudes? Their campus is ugly too. It's like right? 60 60 percent dudes. Is their campus ugly? Well, it's just it's Indiana, so it's yeah. gray. Well, the universe. Bloomington's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. But I mean, it's not terrible. What? We got booze. That's the first time we get booze today. We say Bloomington. And like the beautiful. Bloomington love. <laughs> yeah. 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 I did hate. I saw Indiana. I think the president of Indiana was like, congratulations to our Big Ten brethren for making the Final Four. Uh, that is disgusting. Oh, I hate that. You cannot do that. Did they bring the big drum? 
That's a big question. Yeah, I don't if know. They bring Wasn't the there drum, controversy that it can't travel correctly? They couldn't bring the drum into one stadium last year. I forget what stadium yeah. it was. But, was yeah, it, they've got drum issues. They always have drum issues. Did Jonathan yeah. the Husky make it? No, I don't think he was coming. He, Damn. What's that? Damn. Yeah. He's, he's, the, the, yeah, Jonathan the Husky didn't make it. I That's saw bad. that. How they much did, stock? Didn't go to the women's game either, I don't think. That's bad. The dogs are bad. How much stock time. do you put into the uh, the travel delays? For you? I put a lot of stock into the travel delays because I'm asleep. I saw that, uh, uh, what's his face? Jack Mack. Jack Mack reached out to a sleep expert. I'm a sleep expert. Uh, nobody knows more about sleep than I do and lack thereof it. In the two to three days before the day is the sleep that matters. They missed a whole day of sleep. Yeah. A yeah. whole day. So they won't be on, be on point with sleep till tomorrow. Yeah. It's crazy. Bosco and, did that. And the time difference, the whole thing's fucked. Were they flying a legion? And why are you flying a legion? Yeah, that's NCAA, weird. NCAA, crooked. Crooked NCAA. Horrible. Huh? Now, I know, everybody, I know everybody was flying a legion, but if you have four teams flying a legion, one is going to have issues no matter what. I mean, did also, you, if, you're close, if you're close to Arizona, you're flying a legion. That's one thing. But if you're flying from Connecticut to Arizona. And Hurley did tell us when we asked yeah. him what the motivation was on PMT. He was like, it's too far. The <laughs> Final Four. <Yeah. laughs> he was like, we got to go the farthest. Yeah, it is. It's true. And now this. And, and they had no lockers, it looked like, from the picture. And their beds were fucked up. Did you think, was there any point of view when that was all going down to call your, your close personal friend, Mr. Kraft, and ask him to, to give the I would have flown him out. It was so late. Kraft's done it before. Listen, I got so much on this that I, I would have done anything. Like, uh, what, a 50 grand flight for the $2 yeah. million. Get them yeah. out. Just get the that's starting an, five out. That's an investment. Yeah. yeah. Do the Vince Young buy out an entire Southwest flight. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> in the Legion. But it is good that, like, the one guy who can just use that is Hurley. Hurley. He's, yeah. That just becomes the greatest tool for him. I love when I saw things like the team is not available for media, but Dan Hurley be answering questions. Yeah, like, oh, he's about to cook. Right yeah, now. oh yeah, oh yeah, he was ready. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just really hope I, the first game. I, I, I don't even care about the first game. I don't think. I actually think UConn matches up with Purdue like perfectly. So I think if they're gonna lose UConn, it's gonna be tonight. I don't think it'll be in the finals. Yeah, yeah. Although if NC State wins, it's just like maybe it's just destiny. Yeah. If they pull this one off. And you can't root against DJ Burns. You just can't. No. No, I'll best. root. I'll root so fucking hard. Oh, on Monday, them. yes, I would. Yeah, yeah, I will yeah, root yeah. my ass off. Yeah. Against so what'd you bet in the first game? I haven't touched it. I have nothing. I'm just. I like it. Purdue a lot. Oh yeah. Yeah, I bet Purdue a lot. You've been really bad this March. No, I haven't. I've actually been my bigger ones. I've been doing well. Oh really? I've been. I've been getting better towards the end of the. How tournament. much you put on Alabama? Uh, small, regular. Small regular. I'll be Makes rooting sense. for the game. So. But you, you've, but been, I, you've been I, improving as the tournament goes on? I have been. You're fine. So Rico, Rico's finally getting say. healthy. I like that. Yeah, getting healthy. Yeah. It's like E.T. Bama's getting healthy, I'm getting healthy. It's like two are intertwined. Have there been a lot of riders out here? Yeah, there's been a few pictures. Yeah. Nice people. Yeah. Who's the top rider right now? Sully. No Always. Doubt about He's the number yeah. one guy. Mm -hmm. I love Sully. But He's cutting up. Yeah, Hank is in real life. Hank as well. But, but on the internet, Sully. Hank, are you betting Bama? I don't think he is. No. No. Because I texted Hank because about it the other day. Hank texted me about something, and I'm like, Hank, you're going to jump in the hole? And he's like, I uh, kind of care about my job a little bit more than. Yeah. Well, well, you're you know, smart. You're a Milton guy before you're a rider. He's actually hole. got loyalty, unlike sense. you. I didn't think they were going to cross paths in the tournament. I'm sorry. What do you mean? You thought that you thought Alabama was going to go to the Final Four. I you did. picked him as their national champion. What you say? UConn was the number one overall seed, so you never even. So your bracket? This? Who'd you I have beating be UConn? What what do you I mean you thought they'd no, be on have, the opposite. No, I have. I have. came out. But even still, even if they thought they'd be on the opposite, he has Alabama winning it all, and UConn was number one overall I seed. I have UConn winning it all. But then bracket, you never but saw them out. coming across each other. All right, High Noon uh, <laughs> El Prez Pack here featuring the top four High Noon Vodka Celtics ranked by me. That is passion fruit, pineapple, pear. I don't have the tangerine. Tangerine's here. Tangerine's got it right here. Very, very yeah, good if is. you haven't had it. Um, so visit highnoonspirits.com to find the El Prez pack nearest you. My face is on the actual packaging, and you can scan the QR code. You get a, li a little mini me that joins you at a party. Uh, it's here featuring, the, again, the top four flavors. Am I just rereading this twice? Looks like it. So it's passion. Here's my top four right now. I actually have tangerine at one, passion fruit two. Pineapple three, pear four, 
Peach, I wish they could come out with the Mitch Peaches can. By the way, Big Ab, I'm biased. I'm not going to say who's doing it, but there's people on this couch who are mocking Miss Peaches by putting out Mr. Pear turtle merch. We haven't put out anything well, yet. Well, he's a turtle. We haven't put anything out. And I, I look at it more as an homage to Miss Peaches. Also, so wouldn't it would be ask. good for the company if Mr. Pear also makes money? Because we would have a lifetime contract. And, and I'll tell you this, we've done some research. Turtles live for a very long time. Yep. Very long time. It's actually a problem. Do we've you been looking at turtles, and people are like, just so you know, it this turtle's like, gonna live for 40 years. It seems like you're horning in and trying to like mock Miss Peach. No, mocking. I want, I want. That, it sounds like you hate turtles. Yeah, I, I want, love turtles. I, I, don't, I love fun, all animals. Wouldn't it be so. fun if Miss Peaches had just a whole like barstool cinematic universe of animals? What kind of turtles? A it, gambling turtle. It's gonna be a gambling. Yeah, turtle. Yeah, but it, like technically, it's gonna be like a little tiny gambling turtle. I think a box technically, turtle. Technically, yeah. You guys had Larry the Goldfish. Too. We did, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it, it actually that's how it happened, Dave. Uh, uh, technically, I saw a mock-up of a sweatshirt that yeah, had turtles a like it. down the side. Again, just uh, a Mr. Prototype. Turtle with just a, a little. Prototype. But they in the started same, the in animal. The same font. Yeah, someone. They, what do you so mean they this started? No, no, but this is how it happened, Dave. Someone we did we did listener FAQs on PMT, and someone was like, "Can you bring back Larry the Goldfish?" And then we're like, "You know, we can't keep a goldfish alive. We killed like seven Larrys. People got mad about that. It's so like a turtle. If memes gets the turtle and keeps it alive, and then we're gonna have it." On Thursdays when we do our picks, Mi Mr. Pear's just going to do picks while we're talking about the game. I would have thought maybe it would be like a conversation with this Peaches first. Be like, hey, well, I want, as an homage, listen, we're going to have to get a, someone I, else in the family and, mo and no, mock your entire Nothing existence. would make me happier than Mr. Pear and Ms. Peaches having a conversation together. Mm. That's what I want. Becoming great friends. I want them to be, yeah. yeah, like think about it. We get like maybe, what other animals can we get? Is there any other reports on how Mr. Turtle talks? How you would talk to Mr. Turtle? Oh, Mr. Mr. Turtle! We're thinking like, <laughs> no, Mr. Pear. no, Mr. Pear, no, Mr. Don't Pear, don't bet on the Pear Tell me, I said we're gonna get all kinds of weird turtle diseases because we're gonna kiss its belly. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fucked up. <laughs> now, now, like lip herpes and <laughs> shit. Dave, Dave, when you had Randolph the goldfish, I didn't sit here saying you were mocking Fact. Larry. Fact. Time uh, out. Let, let, let him collect himself. Time out. Thirty. I didn't buy. Somebody sent it to you. Randolph. All right, someone send me in the mail. So, all right, so we'll have someone send us Mr. Pear. No, you've already asked for Mr. Pear. Well, no, we we haven't gotten. You've Mr. already Pear. said you're get you're getting Mr. Pear. I heard. Well, about, actually, I, also me. If any it, any of your anger should be directed at memes, he's the one who's getting the turtle. PFT Hank and I. I already hate that it. kid. So I'll <laughs> gladly. <laughs> Where Why do you hate he? that kid? I mean, I'd be so. Have mad. you seen how bad he was? He embarrassed oh, the whole company yeah. at that he, thing. I mean, I saw him with like the guy. Dan, Dan sent me a list for the suite. I'm like, why the fuck is Memes? <laughs> <this?"> <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Memes has just moved on, and he he thinks that night never happened. No, yeah. he just. Now I hear this. Himself. Memes is responsible is for mocking this. Be Where is Memes? Where is no, he? It's not mocking. He's he's, this is gonna memes doesn't do well with this even as Joe. Go Hawkeyes. He's gonna he's gonna be up tonight being like I think my job's in jeopardy. I just he, think, I just think that Mr. Pear is a zero. He, he put zero effort in that stand up. He's just reading like uh, jokes out of a book. <laughs> <laughs> if if Mr. Pear sells a lot of merch and he's hot yeah. as a gambler, Larry made us good? a lot of yeah. money. What? I noticed the font was the same exact. Well, that ours, was also ours a say prototype. adopt, don't shop. Yours say, like, what did it say? Good picks or yeah, something? Yeah, make good picks. Mm -hmm. mm. Also, we didn't sit down and make the font. Yeah, that was, that was Trix merch. made it. It's a prototype. We don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a beautiful sweatshirt, but we don't have to do that. We can yeah. go a different route. Think about how much money Mr. Pear can make us. Larry did make a lot of money for the company. We sold a shitload of Larry merch. We sold a lot of Miss Perch. I know. It all goes to charity. And Mr. Pear is going to be 100% to Barstool. Profit. So that will be yeah. good for us. <laughs> He's a cash I want it clear. There is no turtle charity that's getting a dime from Mr. Pear. I don't know how you can <laughs> Not name a dime back. Not a dime back. Not a dime back. I don't know how you can name a turtle before you see it. Well, we just thought Mr. Pear sounds well, we, like a cute name. And we also thought we were gonna, we, he, was gonna, he has to have food to eat. So he's going to pick. They're going to be literal pears that he has to go pick right. the games. That was what we thought. And okay. the matchups are in pairs. As long as yeah. it's in a complimentary fashion. It's going it to be as complimentary. I, again, I want it to be a... I don't know what the next animal is, but, like, maybe a cat named Ms. Strawberries. It would felt be a, awesome. Like, a, a, maybe, like, an orange cat or Mr. Ms. Orange. It felt like just maybe the PMT guys are trying to horn on in no, on no, the most popular no. thing we got. No, right I, I love Ms. Peaches. No, I would never, I do too. I would never horn in. I'll her. tell you what. Ms. Peaches, meeting Ms. Peaches in person, she is... 
see, like she was already cute on camera, but then seeing her, she's got the best color. Yeah, she's like, very ever. cute. She's very. Everyone very cute. thinks she's gonna be bigger when they see her. She's kind of like that's pitbulls. That's like my Stella. She because the heads of pitbulls look bigger. Yeah, and they always are like, wow, she's so small. Does uh, Ms. how much does she weigh? She's like forty-two pounds. Yeah, does she she's know any tricks? Bigger? What's that? Does she know any tricks? No tricks. She's she rolls over, belly kisses, but mm. she's not. She doesn't love walking. She's so docile. I yeah. saw she's uh, she's playing fetch now. I saw that a, a little bit. Pitbulls Once don't in a while. play ca- fetch. No, no. They go like two or three. Yeah, and right. then Stella's like, I think they're too smart. They're just like, I'm not doing this. Yeah, anymore. she doesn't. Not, not a big walker. Not even big toys. I, she clearly didn't have toys that, most of her life. Do you think so. that she could uh, she could like snap into defense mode if somebody was attacking you? No. Do you? I people say that because, like. Little puff dogs have come up to her, and she'll. She doesn't know how strong she can be. Yeah. She's. Maybe if someone came at me, she would. I don't know. Does she even bark? Doesn't she's never barked. She barks. Zero wow. barks. Hasn't barked once. She's that cried might be once. That might be coming. She once she figures out she can talk. She, yeah, that mm. she can also like. They, she's not going anywhere. Yeah. Right. No, she hasn't made one noise. Because I, when we adopted Stella, she didn't bark for the first two months, and then something clicked. She's like, oh, they're not giving me up. And yeah. No. She just had to so stop. I've had her close to. Three months now, but yeah. no barks. Uh, what do you think about this? Jerry After Dark, Ms. Peach's remote challenge. Like 50 remotes. <laughs> Just see how many she can get through. She'd get through pretty quick. <laughs> I'm actually meeting with um, Hershey's tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. So <laughs> I can laugh a little bit because she got through it. She ate the gum. She ate uh, Icebreaker's gum, which I had no idea was that deadly. But it's did – you, did you guys know that? I didn't know. So you definitely, like, I'm not an idiot. If I saw chocolate or stuff laying around, I'd put it away. I had this pack of icebreakers forever. Went out to dinner. She ate, got into it. I'm like, I wonder how long the gum will sit in her belly for. Googled it, and it was, like, rush her to the hospital, and she had to be there for 48 hours. So I was mad. I'm like, those fucking cocksuckers at Hirsch. I looked up who owned it. I had no idea. Me neither. Yeah, I've always like it should you, be on a you label. Know, like grapes. Yes, chocolate, chocolate clearly. Like there's you know raisins. But grapes yeah. are bad. I don't grapes, know. Yeah, yeah, grapes, grapes are very bad. So yeah. I'm on a what, quest. The skin? No, the actual grapes like fuck with their liver. Yeah, Jesus. so I, I, I'm on a quest now to get a warning label on gum. That's my thing. But imagine sitting at Hershey's minding your own business oh. and you get that tweet. Hey, motherfucker, you're killing Miss Peaches, <laughs> who's like the most popular dog. So they got back to me. Said they donated 20 grand to Lifeline Hospital. Oh, nice. And I'm like, all right, well, I, want, I apologize for calling you guys cocksuckers. <laughs> I, was in a, I was, like, very upset. But I'm meeting with them, and I'm going to try to get it on a label because it should be on a label. Like, and I, they probably don't because a lot of dog owners would be like, no thanks on that gum. But it's this little Exlicol or something, something I never heard yeah. of, which in, in literally, like, two pieces of gum can kill a dog. I had so many people reach out, and they're like, my dog died from it, or my dog is in a hospital. Jesus. It's crazy. Hershey's and is a good company. What? Doing that. That was your... Oh. Doing that. Oh, I was like, <laughs> like to get in front of what? it. What? Yeah. <laughs> well, they were very... you got to put it on the thing. They probably don't want it because, again, I'm sure people would be like, oh, well, I don't want... To-. But I bring chocolate into my house. You just don't leave you it leave around. It, yeah, you put it away. Right. So. Be just like a little logo that goes on all products that are dangerous to dogs, like a dog with a no on it. Yeah, right. And it's exactly. like universal that way. And you just put it away because yeah. I literally yeah. had it within her reach and before that, Brody's reach... In the that might be an, it could be an industry standard. Now. They you might that's what I'm trying everything. to do. Yeah. That's my goal. You, you, they couldn't pump her stomach, right? They made her throw up. She ate 25 pieces. Oh they God. came out right her away. Her breath probably was awesome. Great minty fresh. <laughs> and then uh, they, she had to stay for 48 hours on fluids and all this stuff. So in just, they were monitoring, monitoring, monitoring. It was scary. Imagine if I killed peaches within... Oh, it would have oh. been... I would have never recovered for that. No. Would have been the end of me. Yeah. Like, oh, you dropped this dog, got super famous, and she lasted like and she ate the gum. Gum, yeah. Yeah. You get another dog that looks a lot like Miss Peaches. Just try then. not to. That's yeah. like uh, meet like, the parents. Yeah, yeah, you like paint the dog with <laughs> yeah. the same spots. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I'm gonna try to get through that meeting with them tomorrow. What do you hope a halftime score is, Bosco? Us. Uh, us. Forty-one. Us. Up. Forty-one thirty-six. <laughs> Oh, you need to be winning at halftime. I think we do. Okay. Why don't? Because I will say that. that you I was like started a re- slow. A really and hot Alabama start. has like they've been. Da- they were down to UNC. They were down to Clemson. Like they have some roll tide guys. That guy looks very much like a roll tide guy. Got the hair. Yeah. 
I tell you, I'm one of those guys. The tie doesn't intimidate me anymore after we put him on a, we put yeah, Saban in retirement. You, you retired Saban. Yeah. I think we saw 97 of those guys in Tuscaloosa. Just that guy. Yeah. It's a Yo, copy. very much. They all wear the butt, the the collared shirts, mm -hmm. same haircut. Rico should do the the Bama swoop. You should cut your hair into that if you guys. You don't look like a Bama guy at all. No, <laughs> no. St kind of stick out. He, like he's a Saint Saint John's guy, but he hates. He Saint looks John's like a Big East guy. Yeah, he looks. He, looks, he, he hates Saint John's too. East. He looks like a mafia guy that got uh, restationed in witness protection. To Birmingham. <laughs> Did you hear Rico's when we started? This is, feels like ten years ago. One of the great the, fake Italians of all time. <laughs> the start of uh, <laughs> conference tournament championship week, we did a stream at, at, at Chili's, and uh, Rico said that. St. John's has to be worried about the succession plan for Rick Pitino. He, he's done that a lot. It's he's like got a, a six-year contract. It was, it was the first thing he said, what are yeah. they going to do in six years? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are they doing right now? St. John's lives rent-free in your head. A little bit. And, he, and he, he wants Chris Mullen back. Yeah. Even though he sucked to well, do anything. They didn't give him long enough to really like get going. I'm how also long, friends with the Mullins family. It, five years? Went yeah. to the camps growing what, what, up. What do you mean you have friends with the Mullins family? Dan, you want to attest to that or not? No, he's friends with the Mullins. Friends with the Mullins family. He's friends with the Mullins family. I mean, I like Chris Mullen, but... I know, yeah, it was... It was the uh, the camp, right? I don't know. I think it's a valid question to ask when St. John's has not been no, a power for a long it's period of time contract. here. Right. If Patino doesn't win, what's the next plan? Like, All right, Rico, are you this? sure you're going to get a good coach? Are you sure you're going to be able to keep recruits? How about this? Rapoli is coming into play with that. Like, he better nail it. Which Wisconsin... Or what's uh, Washington going to do if Sprinkle doesn't oh, work out? Oh, good question. They're done. That guy's... He's there. No, for good life? that's a good question. No, no, he, if, if he We're wins good at, to go. at Washington... But you're getting a guy at 44. Three years old, forty-four years old, six years of his prime career. Yeah, yeah Washington's got to already be Rick worried Patino's about their next move. Dirt. Rick Pitino's seventy years. I old. I mean, Alabama's got to be worried about their next move. Yeah, no, yeah, a hundred percent. Oh my they god, they signed them through extensions for the next. Oh, 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 oh how long was Dusty May's extension? Ten years. Yeah, but they made at they've, FAU ten Sean, years. How, they've made the buyout crafted where you can't really get rid of them. He's got the contract still twenty. Yeah. Oh, I've heard, heard that before. Jimbo Fisher had a <laughs> buyout that could be bought out. He's got kids there. He yeah, wants to stay. Do you know how college sports work? Yes, I know how it works. There is They're building an arena. This is the begin. This is there what is you guys quite understand. Literally, this is step one of building a power down in Tuscaloosa. There You're is going quite to see the ground floor right now. Literally it's laying the foundation no, without it's a knowing title, him. And it's another title. There's nobody who would jump ship. Faster yes. for greener pastures than your boy Nate Oates yes. in the world. We're, we're, he already as, has been as soon offered as, like as soon as Cal spots. gets fired, he's going to be. That's a I want to say one bad Kentucky loss away yeah. from Kentucky, and then here. you're going to be uh -huh. wearing Kentucky after bashing <laughs> yeah, yeah, them for the last 15 I bash, years. I only bash Cal Perry. Yeah, he violated okay. HIPAA laws. I'm very pro. So that is actually what we're learning: is you're not a college hoops fan. You're a he's a nothing fan. He's he's a he's a. No, or that all, all well, I started to get in with the coaches, fan. and then yeah, you start to he, see you know what, know, how I, they make the sauce. He's a fan of him, he's a him. fan of himself. Yes. That's all he is. I, it, he doesn't even like Nate Oates. He wants credit for being like I told you, Nate Oates. That's yes. it. It's yes. disgusting. Here's visible. Here's something you might not know about wireless. Sometimes you, uh, what you see isn't what you get, but with visible, what you see is what you get. So it's a visible wireless company that makes wireless visible. Get a one-line plan with unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon, just 25 bucks a month. Taxes and fees included. One-line wireless, just $25 a month. Taxes and fees included. Visible is the wireless company that makes wireless visible. No hidden fees. Can you stay off your phone while I do this? Yeah. No hidden fees. No, really. Unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon. Switch now at Visible.com. Save on Verizon. Save on wireless with unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon. In times of traffic, your data may be temporarily slower than other traffic. 5G access required a 5G cable service in a 5G coverage area. Monthly rate on the Visible plan. Terms apply. See Visible now. Switch now at Visible.com. Well, it's relevant. All right. It's re speaking of traffic, John, uh, John Fanta, over two hours away from tip-off of the men's Final Four, and traffic around State Farm Stadium is at a complete standstill. Oh, that's sweet. So that's a little that relevant maybe to, like, take a look at. So, so this, is, this is one of those cities that's a great – great like big event city except getting to the actual venue because it's not in there right it's not in new orleans i actually don't think it's a great big event city. really I like i like scottsdale a lot and, oh, I and like phoenix I, I big event cities like you have to have that big piece like the, the, the downtown stadium yeah, is always like nice. new orleans is a great big event city. i'll say this though the airport here is fantastic oh i, I the weather the here is so beautiful oh, no, i love i i i love it here i don't like the big events i think it's just too spread out 
No, I like, I, I can live with Scottsdale. I think Scott, and compared to a lot of other cities we've compared been in. Compared to Houston. Houston's the worst. Houston is the worst. Yeah, like they Houston. should honestly just do everything in Vegas. Nothing should be in you Houston. You like San Antonio a lot, right? San Antonio's good. San Antonio's good because you can just be there. The river walk. The, the problem with San Antonio is I eat 7,000 chips. Chips, chip to death. Next year, San Antonio. It is back to San Antonio. San Antonio, next year. I like then San Antonio. Indy, then Detroit. Indy, Indy's great. Vegas. Weather, Indy's weather, awesome. you may get hurt. And then Vegas. Vegas would be fun. I wonder why they've never done a Final Four in Miami. The stadium is not big enough. Well, they don't have a top to it. A top? They don't have a. Yeah, the, the Final the Four. Dolphins. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah the Final Four was saying the the yeah, basket yeah, is in an arena. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Vegas is getting it because they're going to do it. That's why MetLife's fucked up too. MetLife should have put a roof. That's why they have I it once it. every ten years at the least. Chicago would get one if they if they do a dome. Yeah, morons. Hmm. I hate these games. I I don't like the games at football stadiums. No, I, I don't either. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in San Antonio. Yeah. That it would, would be awesome if they forever. built like a like a forty thousand person basketball arena basketball in like only, Indianapolis yeah. or like Vegas, and they're yeah. like, this is where it is every year. Yeah. Basketball only. That would rock. Yeah, I'd be sick if they did one in like an Indi- like Indiana Hoosiers high school gym. Yeah, just had the finals in there. I love that the NIT did Hinkle. Yeah, that, that was, was sick. sick. I can't believe you don't like this city for a big event. That surprised me. I get. What I you're like saying. this city. Like I, I've I've come and vacationed here. Like I like coming here. I just think the big event is just so spread out. You feel like you're not like even getting a vibe of like the fans. Like you can't get a vibe because just everyone's everywhere. And like being like, oh, we're gonna go there. Okay, we Phoenix, gotta plan this. Uh, yeah, Tempe. All that shit. So spread out. Yeah, and then I think we have to go to Dallas in like five years. That Dallas sucks. is a Dallas similar sucks. Dallas is a similar situation. Yeah, the stadium's it like forever, yeah, a while to get there. Forever to get there. Interesting. So what are the final predictions as we're winding down here? I I'm guess s- go right down the row. Yeah. I think, I think chalk. I bet Purdue team total over. I don't want to fuck with the spread. It was 78. I took Purdue team total over. And then I'm on the UConn future, so I'm kind of just riding that out. So you're not going to touch the UConn game individually? Probably not. Yeah. That's what I always say, and then, like, two seconds before. Yeah, I was, I'm, it, as I was saying it, I was like, I'm going to end up late. Probably, I've, been, probably late. I've been great. I haven't touched anything. I'm just waiting for this thing to end. Travi? Purdue and Bama. With the heart. What? With the heart. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, like, if someone had a gun to, like, your head, you'd still go Bama? Yeah, you have to. What about to a family member's head? Yeah, we're, ro- we're rolling with Bama. What, what about you mean, to, come what, on, what Dave? About, I'm what, trying to get a real answer. Boss what, about a, what about a gun to Miss Peach's head? That's a different story. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Smart man. I don't know why Bosco is giving me a come on, Dave. Like, really? Yeah, you you and guns. I mean, come on. And, you and have you, no problem with yeah, that. Yeah, and you, I, you got to ask that because if you recall, remember that time during uh, the Barstool Fun, you wouldn't save your cousin's bar? Right. That's doing fine, by the way. One the the dude took a shot at you moment. yesterday. He Surprise. did? Yeah. <laughs> what did he, he do? Back out. It's anything he for Barstool relevancy. He had a tweet. I did, I did like, see Joey Yank's no. reply, though. Oh, I yeah, Joey Yank's reply. Yeah. <laughs> Joey Yank said, uh, you know, I did like. I don't know what Nadu Interesting said. to be throwing I, stones in a glass house when you did heinous comments on your own blogs for the last couple of I years. I did like Nadu, though, the other day. He backed Frank, which was awesome. And some guy came at Frank. And then the dude just found this guy like he's been around a million times. He's also yeah, shit on the, Frank for a bunch spaces, of times right? before that, too. Yeah. That's, me and Jared, that Spaces was incredible. So funny. So funny. And the dude was just questioning he the literally, guy. He brings the guy on. He starts talking. He mutes him. He goes, no, no. He goes, you don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I tell you what to do. All right. Because now talk. The so dude said, it's a picture of Rico <laughs> on the phone, and, and, and it's quotes, Nate Oates, please let me blow you before the game tomorrow, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah, it's almost as good as, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see it? Yeah. I'll show it right to the screen. Oh, okay. I mean, you guys forget. Where is it? It's in my file. <laughs> oh, he's got a file on the do. I don't like. He's got I files on everything. Yeah, I don't like when this you get the Sully the Soprano files. file. Yeah, the files are bad. What's this? What's this? Oh, this it's great co- radio. Although he's it's, it's his, his comments. I mean, it's I mean it's like, his comments we really section. want that out there on his own blog. <laughs> so let's just be careful. <laughs> let's just be careful. He did delete the Woj thing from his file, so the file can shrink. File can shrink. But just don't keep throwing stones when you that was the wrote Woj, that heinous was, things about some of the people you work with. That was in the, your own comments. That was section. the Woj when Woj. He's You've the never one who done anything heinous to anyone else. Yeah, yeah. You've yeah. never done heinous to any I just coworkers. Said that, that's how I know. Just be careful. <laughs> you, you've created. You've committed some of those heinous Agreed. acts this Agreed. company's Agreed. ever seen. Agreed. Anonymous yes. people Agreed. attacking coworkers. Agreed. Agreed. No place yeah. It's all right. 
It's a no. <laughs> it's all right. It's good to see that his no sister's real estate policy. business is funding his condo. It's always a good thing. <laughs> okay. It's getting deep. He goes on paperwork. Oh. All right. So, uh, PFT, got, are you betting these? I, I have a future that's tied in with, I got UConn, Nuggets, Juan Soto, MVP. Oh, wow. Oh which God. I feel really good about. What are the odds on that? 33 to 1. <laughs> I would have thought that would have been bigger. I, yeah. Bigger. With the, yeah, with the Juan Soto. Uh, he's, I think he's plus 400 right now. Huh. He's dominating right now. So, I, I, I like rooting for Juan Soto. Don't like rooting for the Yankees. This is my way of, of staying invested in him. Um, and I like the Nuggets, too. So, I've got that. Then... We did our, our part of my take parlay. We took the over for UConn, Alabama, and we also took the halftime, first half over. You so, can't put props in there. I know. I would have taken Sears three threes. And then, uh, I think Sam Walter's going to have a big game tonight. Then I got Wolfpack. Wolfpack, NC State, money line. Money line, NC State. Wow. What I, is that, like plus 400, 300? Uh, 300. Three, yeah, three something. Uh, I just I can't, I can't root against that guy, DJ Burns. I can't root against the Wolfpack. They're the. They feel like the team of destiny. They're a lot of fun. And uh, I, it's also me hoping that I don't have to watch Zach to play basketball for two more games. NC State was part of my biggest screw job I've had in gambling. I bet them in the College World Series yeah, yeah. Oh, at like 11-1. Yeah. to one. Yeah, we were talking yeah. about that the other day. NC State's had real bad luck. And sports. then they, their entire team got taken off the field for COVID. Yep. Yeah. It was crazy. And they the rules, they were, they were literally allowed to go to the game that they couldn't play in. Yeah, yeah. it was, it was n- disgusting. <laughs> it was fucking crazy. Uh, I'm gonna, obviously, I got UConn not touching the game. I just need them to win. Part of me was like... I think Alabama's plus 1,700 to win the whole thing. It's like put 100 grand on them, and you're looking at 1.7, so if you somehow lose, but I'm just that's, betting. It. Yeah, that's Alabama winning and losing to Purdue. Correct. Yeah. So, But, e- but even then, there. you could again go again because you have so much. Yeah. But I, I'm just going to leave it on UConn. Uh, I like NC State plus the points. I haven't been sold on Purdue the whole season, but they're they're doing the Virginia thing. That worries they're me a really little bit. Good. Yeah. They're doing the Virginia lose first round, come back. Um, but if I had to take, I take UConn. You don't think to just throw and then NC State. I'm on Purdue and Bama. I think it's gonna be a rematch of uh, the game we saw in December. Bama Purdue classic on Monday night. Okay, I'm on NC State points, and then UConn future. But I knowing me. Right before tip, I'll probably bet them like 17 different ways. And live bet there. They yeah. serve now. Do they serve beer in the stadium? No, I remember you were talking. I, I, they might have changed it, but I remember you were talking about the unnamed show. For the longest time, the Final Four is not. Remember even like when Wisconsin was in the Final Four, we'd have to go to the, like, we got right. passes to go get beer. In the suites, I think you yes, can. Yes, we'll be fine. But yeah, I, I don't know if they've no, changed I'm it. No, pretty sure it's It's regular. so stupid. I'm pretty sure beer sales are now nationwide. They, de- are they? they definitely Stadium had alcohol wide. last year in, in Houston. For the they longest did, time, yeah, yeah, for the longest time, there was none. They and may have changed it like two or three and years you had ago. them in New Orleans, so. Yeah, I what? think so, yeah. yeah. Beers. Yeah, but they had these big, big-ass daiquiri margarita things last year. They were fantastic. Yeah. Right. Hope, to, hope to get some. Also, shout out Hogs for the Cause. It's going on right now. It's going Is well. it on right now? Yeah, 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 I right saw right Mincy start tweeting it. He gets it. He was late. He was. He only started tweeting about it on Monday. That is. I thought it was a couple months away. So he's we asked business. him. We asked him, and we're like, "What's the deal? You're late." He's like, "Well, I, I, I dialed today. I had sixty commitments. So it's like just he calls his friends. I mean, I had to donate every you mean, year. He, I had he's to donate. too afraid to ask. I will say. I don't know if you guys saw. I was telling Dan about it. His tweet. He quote tweeted Billy Football running for Congress. Or yep. and he, below he goes. This is the simulation, like <laughs> like his entire life. Yeah, is you, gone. That this is, is you. This is what set Mincy over the top. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but here here's him last night at uh, at Hogs for the Cause. He does look healthy. He looks skinny there. A lot of confetti, a lot of glow sticks, living his best life. Still, one of the stranger things, the Hogs for the Cause. When we went, there was no meat. Like there was just nothing to eat. We I think showed we, up. we showed up at the wrong time. I this think Mincy brought nothing. us at the wrong time. All right. Well, no thank hogs. you guys, everyone, for coming out. Uh, go Huskies! Let's go Huskies! Bar still. Come see the Barcelona Bar this weekend, and uh, let's go Huskies. That's all I got, really. Thank you, guys. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. No Roll Tide.